Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. Today, I'm gonna be potting up some herbs that I have little seedlings of here because I need to make some room for some more seedlings because I plan on bringing some more in. This is coming close into spring and it is time to get a whole bunch of seedlings ready for out in the garden. So I'm gonna bring you guys in, you can see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna go over why I'm doing the potting of these right now. In fact, I could wait on some of these a little bit, um, and these are kind of what, this area is what I'm gonna pot up. But I wanna start some new tomatoes. If you guys remember, I had that issue with that herbicide in the potting mix, so I unpotted them and put them in new pots. The stress of being, you know, having the dirt taken off their roots and then put in new dirt, just didn't work out for them. Um, two of them seem like they might make it. This one and this one. Both of them were sun gold, by the way. So that's good because I don't have any more of the sun gold seeds. So I need to replant some. Now I'm going to keep a couple of them here just to make sure that they, you know, in case they decide to come up. Um, I'd rather have the ones that I started earlier, even if they did have some stress in the beginning, because they'll have a bigger root system and probably establish a little faster if they decide that they're not going to die. But if they don't make it I want to have some new stuff ready I just don't have any space now you could say what about here but these are the seedlings these are all the peppers I decided since I had so many peppers of each variety four of each I only need two um, so I decided to try with two of them and it looks like one two three four five five of them seem like they might six maybe might make it but a couple of them you can see are just they're wilting and they're not doing well that one's probably not going to make it so um, I think that just was too much for their root system as well. I might have damaged the roots trying to take the dirt off also, it's possible. I want to keep these here just for a little while and I don't want to put them in with this. See, I could put them here, but this has the herbicide and this, I don't want to have water drain off one of these and then be sucked up by the dirt here and then have herbicide back in there, exactly what I'm trying to avoid. So I'm leaving these here for just a short time to just see if they do okay. If they kind of make it, maybe I can replace some of these that didn't quite make it, try to transfer, you know, the, the dirt over. Um, I don't know, but I want to keep them just for a short time longer just to see what happens. But I do need to start some new tomato seedlings. So let's get to potting these up so I can make room here. So what I got is mint. And the reason why I'm using a pot for mint is they can completely overtake your garden. They will choke everything else out. So I'm going to make sure and put this in a pot, which actually there's the pot right there. I'm going to reuse this one. Um, I've got some potting soil that I bought instead of having to make my own right now. I just don't want to go through that process. At Costco, they had a bag of, you know, 50, I think like 50 quart or something. It was a huge bag of uh, potting soil for like $8 or $9. So I'm just going to use that. It was a good deal. So that's the mint. And I'm also going to do the same thing with thyme. Thyme is also another one that can overtake your garden, okay? Uh, There's the winter thyme variety, German thyme you can call it. Um, that can also overtake your garden. I do have a little bit of this in the garden right now, um, but I'm watching it closely and making sure that it doesn't start sending shoots off. Once I see shoots uh, sent off, I'm going to pull that up and then dry the leaves and use it. But this I'll just keep in a, in a pot and then I should have it, you know, until next year. So, and then plus in the summer, I think it's a little warm for these, so I can bring them underneath the shade and move them out into the sun. So that's why I'm potting up both of these for the mint and the thyme. The other things I've got here to make more room is I've got parsley, which I can plant out in the garden right now. I've got some spots I can put it in and I've got uh, sage. sage could possibly take over but it's a little bit slower in growing and I've had it out there before with just great success so I'm going to go ahead and put that out in a few spots out there as well and sage is an herb that can actually deter some pests so it would be good to be planted in with and then the parsley I've got spots out there this is leek which I am going to go ahead and plant because I had a couple spots of leeks that didn't make it so I'm going to plant these where those didn't seem to take off. Let's get to that. So here's the two pots I'm going to be working with. They're 10 gallon cloth pots and both of them had stuff growing in them before but these herbs generally there's no diseases that I have to worry much about with them. They do get some but not with what I had planted. I think this one was tomato and this one was turnip. There's just nothing that's going to transfer over so I can reuse the pots without much worry. I'm not even gonna have to fill these that high because these are pretty shallow rooted, maybe halfway. 
and that way I'll turn in more of five gallon, make it more wide, and I can get a couple plants in there and have this a really nice array of mint and thyme. Let's get to filling this up. This is the potting mix, it's 50 quart. It's a huge bag, by the way. And like I said, it was like $8.99, I think. Great deal at Costco. Um, I just, I stocked up on a bunch of this kind of stuff. In fact, I got right here, I got this tree for $30, $29.99. And I got this tree for $29.99. This is a lime, which lost a couple leaves, so I don't know what that's about. And then the lemon's doing fine. The lemon there. Great deals, guys, right now. And by the way, these I got on Amazon for, I mean, they ended up costing like two bucks each. So they're pretty inexpensive pots. So like I said, I don't need to fill it all the way since they're not super deep rooted. Pat it down a little bit. It's quite fluffy soil. Looks like it's a lot of peat moss. Get a little bit over here. And I mean, it's it's a miracle Grow mix, right? So made by miracle Grow. I'm guessing they add their nutrients in, a lot of the fertilizers, and that's fine. I mean, we're, we're talking potted soil. This isn't going in my garden. Some people say that the synthetic fertilizers like miracle Grow tend to hurt, hurt the um, biome, the soil biome. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know enough about that. But here for a pot, I'm not, I'm not too worried. And what's nice is this one bag pretty much filled up two of these. And I used a little bit of this already for something. Pretty much I could get two 10 gallons. So it's basically, this is like 20 gallons worth if you were trying to fill it up. Not bad for $8.99. You're going to get two full pots from it. This actually is a little less expensive or about the same price as if I was making it my own. So I'm going to go get a couple more bags. I got two of them. And I was, you know, I should have gotten more. All right, so let's get these in the ground. Mint. I don't even need that. I know what mint looks like, but whatever. We'll keep it. So mint, it, you know, it, it propagates itself really quickly. It'll send runners down under and shoot up more. But so I probably only need to put one in. It'll cover this whole pot in no time. Um, but it won't be instant. So, you know, we'll let, we'll plant all of these in one and we'll let them kind of hatch it out for space and dominance here all right next is the time and one of the times didn't sprout i've got multiple <laughs> coming from other ones get these planted and the same thing i'm gonna plant all around probably all five that i've got in here this is, like I said, pretty large pot. But they will take over um, the whole thing. Like I said, this soil already has nutrients in it, so I'm not going to add any right now. But in probably, I don't know, about two, three months, once these start really growing out, then I will come in with some liquid fertilizer for these. And I'm moving it while it's still dry, so it's lighter. If I filled with this with water, it would end up being 30 pounds, 40 pounds, which... It's not that hard to carry, but why if I don't have to? Let's scoot this over. Yeah, see, that's really heavy. And it's filled with water. I'm gonna bring the hose over and water both of these. So, of course, when you water first, especially when you first plant, the plants aren't super strong. They get knocked over. They're kind of weak from being, you know, in the nursery. And they get, you know, the longer they stay out here, the stronger they get. And we'll stand back up in just a few minutes. Oh, and I want to mention mulch. You could totally put mulch on those potted plants that I just planted, but I'm going to wait because they're small right now and mulch is going to you know, cover their, their stems. But once they grow a little taller and lose some of the leaves at the bottom, start getting kind of woody at the bottom, and I'll cover it all with mulch and that'll keep some moisture in. We've got the leek. We've got this row. We've got two of them pretty much that are growing okay. The other ones, I don't know what happened, they just didn't make it. Go ahead and pull these out. And these might be a little too big to do this with. Let me see. So leeks are one of those things that you can kind of pull apart. Let's see if I can though. If I damage one, I damage one. But you can pull them apart and the, the roots don't really get damaged very easily. Um, they're kind of a little tougher and wiry. Like that, boom. So that's one plant. 
So and you know you can plant a couple in one seed packet there or one seed cell and and I just pulled out three. So a six pack you can plant four or five or whatever three or four seeds and you can get multiple so let's bring those down and then cover it back up there's one planted hopefully that does a little better and this one didn't really do well let's go ahead and pull that one up Take a fairly decent sized hole. Get that planted in there. There we go. That's two right there. We'll get this one in on the other side. We'll get it in right over here. Almost covered that crown. Gotta make sure you don't do that. Where else? I can probably get one over here. It's the random spot over here. I did lose one of my chards that was planted right here. The wind whipped around so bad the other day that it, it broke the stem. So, get this one planted right there. Here's some leaks as well in a pot. So, we'll just replace these. And a couple of them, something happened, they died back. I'm not sure what happened there. We'll do the same thing and break this apart. We got all the leeks planted. These are going to be um, winter squash. So, what you start <laughs> in spring. So, and then these are cucumbers and summer squash, um, which got more over here so all right so this made some room I can get a couple of these how many can I get in so that's six more go ahead and pot up these tomato plants which by the way I've got this right here which is sifted I've got this little sifter thing so I took potting soil that was actually in that pot that we just put the the mint in uh, that had a turnip in it and then I sifted it and there's really not any diseases that I'm too worried about with that uh, transferring to any of the the seedlings that I'm I'm going to be planting with it, but I sifted that whole thing, and that's where I got that's where I got all this dirt. So it's real fine, really good dirt. That's where I got all this for potting those and these, and quite a few more inside as well. So let's go ahead and fill this up with some dirt. Oh, and then because it's spent, I did actually put a little bit of fertilizer in okay all right let me bring out the seeds and some markers and we'll get those planted so first off i want to say i'm sorry if you guys couldn't hear me before because so i actually had the mic on my camera reversed to where it was listening to the front so hopefully you guys could hear me i'm sure you could but might have been kind of a little less <laughs> verbose of a um sound so there's a Tomatillo, burpy big boy. And these are all the same varieties I had before, the Arkansas Traveler, um, purple Cherokee, uh, Sweetie. It's actually a Super Sweet 100, I think. They called it a Sweetie. I had ordered Super Sweet 100. I'm not sure what I got, honestly. It might be just a Sweetie, but either way, the Sweetie is a small cherry tomato, and the Super Sweet 100 is a small sweet cherry tomato. So, I mean, both are similar, so I'm not even sure which it is. Then the Big Beef hybrid so there we go let's get these uh seeds planted this is pretty dry soil right now i'll have to water from above after i plant the seeds i'm just going to get the little holes going you don't get a lot of these seeds either oh no you do okay you get a lot more than it looked like we do not need all those so this had 99 percent germin germination <laughs> on the packet it said uh, it'll tell me on these packets and when was that? 
germination date the first of 2023 so one year ago um, not bad and so most of those should sprout grand verde so we'll put yeah i did four i'll have to thin those out i mean it's just what was in my hand and all the rest of these i think are older packets so we'll definitely put four per seed cell all right what is this a big boy where's the big boy that's that one next one Some of these hybrids just come with very little seeds and there we go i've only got three left it looks like they're all going in there i have to order more next year well, that's gone now these hybrids i can't save the seeds either so you just got every year buying new um, and that's what i like about the purple cherokees i can save the seeds if I get a good harvest, so um, Arkansas Traveler. So I believe the Arkansas Traveler is a hybrid as well. I could be wrong though. I'm pretty sure it is. But this had, oh, <laughs> didn't make it. We we'll get two seeds in there. I think it was pretty good uh, germination. All right, we got the purple Cherokee. Now, this is not a hybrid, but you still get it, one of these little packet seed things. Um, it is a more rare variety. Um, I mean, it's not rare, but it's just not as common, so they don't give you as many. Like some of these seed packets that aren't hybrid, they give you like so many seeds. So um, now that one had 85% germination rate in the middle of 2023. So. I'm not, uh, this is actually a newer than the other uh, seed packet, but I'm not too worried about that. I put three in there, but that's probably overkill. Sweetie tomato. You get a lot of these from the sweeties, so. I mean, I get so many seeds, might as well just dump them in. I'll never use them in multiple seasons, so. And this video wasn't meant to be a seed starting video but i mean it's kind of what was going on today all right and then this was another hybrid i've got two seeds left so we'll get both of them in there and that's it for those you just don't get a lot of seeds with the with those hybrids all right now we got a water from the top. So I got this spray bottle. They're actually sitting in water right now. Um, this tray is filled with water because uh, I had to water recently. But on the top, you kind of cut a water from the top first once to kind of get that to start flowing down because really dry soil is hydrophobic and it's just it's not going to soak up as much of the water as quickly. So if we get a little bit of moisture on the top, It'll allow that to start soaking up from the bottom a little faster. Now today is cool, a little cool to actually start seeds, but tomorrow it'll get a little bit warmer. I don't need to bring these inside though, because they're still 50 degrees, which that doesn't mean that these are gonna sprout, but they'll be fine. It's not gonna freeze them. And then tomorrow it's gonna raise up to, you know, 75, 80 degrees. Um, it's just today is a little bit cooler and tonight it's not going to drop into the freezing So there we go guys. We got rid of a couple seed cell trays um, I might get rid of these at one point and get three more and I can replace some of these peppers if they don't make it at that point um, Hopefully those have enough time to produce but uh, there we go um, If you guys like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out My rooster is going off <laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.